Jump de jump jump jump. Can we please lower the volume? I was trying to take a cat nap. <laughs> Yikes! I just got a hot tip. Word is the Witch's Council is planning a surprise checkup on me and Hilda. They're sending Enchantra herself. Yuck! Dust bunnies take a hike. <laughs> gotcha! Oh! Oh! Dust bunnies, not just for breakfast anymore. <laughs> Excusez-moi. Huh? So why the clean-a-thon? Don't you get it? Enchantress our so-called parole officer. If she's not impressed by what she sees, Hilda and I could get sentenced to another century in these teenage bodies. So you want her to think that you and Hilda have learned a valuable lesson about not abusing your magic and would never think again of using your magic recklessly. Exactly. <gasps> not a word, cat. Queen Hilda, a little help, please? I'm busy. Get Sabrina to help. I can't. She's still at auditions for the school play. Yeah, Romeo and Juliet. Farewell, one kiss and I'll... No! Hilda! Hilda, I'm trying to pick a date for the homecoming dance. With 23 lucky contenders, this is not an easy task. Do you want Enchanter to see a messy house? Please! All I know is, come time for the dance, I'm gonna have a hot date, and all you're gonna have is a house that smells like pine. Like always. Oh, please, I've had more than my fair share of dates. The only date you've had in the last century was with one Edgar Allan Poe, and from what I remember... Zelda, I feel so much freer being with you than that cruel harridan I call my other half. You alone understand the murky nether regions of my soul. <gasps> Martha, however did you find me here? <laughs> Don't be that way, Martha. This human means nothing to me. Check, please. Face facts in this life? Those of us who can date, do. Those who can't, clean the house. Oh, by this count, I shall be much in years ere I again behold my Romeo. Get a grip, girl. It's only a play. You're right. You're right. I just can't seem to get rid of these butterflies in my stomach. Uh, Mrs. Bellman. <clears throat> and make her airy tongue more hoarse than mine with repetition of my Romeo. Juliet approaches balcony. Oops, sorry, little nervous. It is my soul that calls upon my name. Sorry, Mr. Sales, that was Romeo's line. That's okay, Sabrina. You read with verb and passion. I did? Cool. I want to thank you all for auditioning. Some of you more than others. The cast of characters is as follows. The role of the nurse will be played by Chloe Flynn. Uh, oh, oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> and the role of Romeo shall be essayed by a Harvey Kinkle. Additional callbacks will be held on Saturday for the role of Juliet, which currently is a dead heat between Miss Sabrina Spellman <laughs> and Ms. Gemstone. And for the callback, Miss Stone, you may eschew the period costume. I get the idea. But uh, go ahead and bring the jester. I like him. Uh -huh. FYI, my little Juliet's. At the final callbacks, equally important as a good reading will be how well you understand the true meaning of the play. It's all about the international language of love. The part will go to whichever one of you can best articulate the meaning of true love. Run away now, children. Your ignorance pains me. Mmm, here's a hot dancing daddy. What do you think, Zeld? I dance her, but I'm too busy ignoring you. There, all clean. You look like something I dragged in. What's wrong? I got called back for Juliet. Mr. Sales says he wants us to figure out the meaning of love. 
I'm 12 years old. What do I know about love? The meaning of love, huh? Well, I've always pictured love as a big field of daisies. Ah! Like you know anything about love. Around here, I'm the goddess Demore. Zelda's the one you ask when you want to clean a stubborn stain. You just have to make everything into a competition, don't you? In a competition, you have to have at least two teams. You, big sister, were born to forfeit. Are you calling me a loser? With a capital LU? Okay, you're on. I bet you I will have a date for the dance, and I bet you he'll be way more babelicious than yours. Deal! The usual bet? Of course! Loser has to go to school wearing the rock hopper penguin suit. She'll see. This time, I won't be the one in the penguin suit. Want a snack? Get lost. Yeesh, what a grumpalina. <laughs> Don't listen to them, Aunt Zelda. I think you're high-grade babage. Thanks, honey, but the cat's right. Hilda is a man magnet. There's no way in the nine netherworlds I'm gonna find a hunkier date than her. Let's check out your copy of the play. Maybe I can at least help you with your problem. Well, hello, hottie. Sabrina, why didn't you tell me this Romeo was a total stud? Oh, maybe because he's, I don't know, fictional? Fictional schmictional. He'd make one totally nectar date for the homecoming dance. Oh, no. If I walk into the dance with Romeo, I would smoke Hilda like the waddling penguin she is. Uh, wouldn't that be cheating? Well, if Romeo were here, he could also help you with your audition. Yeah. Then I'd be sure to soliloquize the designer pants off Jem. <laughs> <laughs> Time to dip into my private magic stash. It is Romeo that I do wish to see. Wherefore art thou in my kitchen be? Ah, to soar with his light feathers. And so bound, I cannot bound a pitch above dull woe. Under love's heavy burden huh? do I sink. Uh, sweet mother of Shakespeare. You low-down dirty witch! How dare you cheat to win the bet! You're just jealous you didn't think of it first. Earth to Zelda! If Enchantress sees him, she'll give us another hundred years in these zit-riddled bodies for sure. Enchantra? Enchantress coming? Yes. Or did my dippy sister forget to mention that little detail? Send him back now! It is but the fiery temper of your soul that has found me riddled with love. Well, maybe he can stay for a little while. Mmm, springy. What about me, you... you puffy-sleeved traitor? I brought you here. Come what sorrow can. It cannot countervail the exchange of joy that one short minute gives me in your sight. Hold the phone, Hot Tights. A second ago, you were in love with me. What gives? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, poison, mine only friend, so deserved for bringing such grief to such great beauty. Farewell. <laughs> Romeo? That was a root beer. You can use the door, you know. Who requires doors when traversing love's sweet portal? Yeah, love. I wanted some help on that very subject. Tell me about love. What does it mean? How would Juliet describe it? Love? It turns her lips into two blushing pilgrims standing ready to smooth a rough heart with a tender kiss. Oh, yeah. Nothing says romance like a pilgrim. Romeo, Romeo, <gasps> did you sleep well? How could I not with you in my dreams, fair Hilda? <laughs> oh, you. How about breakfast? Just a little something I whipped up. You're not really serving Romeo that warmed over witch slop, are you? Hey! How would you like to take a ride in my F-163000? It's turbocharged, complete with limited edition racing stripes. Let us tickle the senseless rushes with our heels. No matter what era they're from, boys love toys. Did I mention there's 200 dragon power of suction under the hood? Oh! 
Wow, that's some powerful engine. It's not me. It's somebody from the Witches' Council arriving. Go on. Enchantra! Nice of you to drop in. Da -da 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 -da. It's your lucky day, darlings, because you two have been so good. Mm -mm -mm. About not abusing your magic. <laughs> <laughs> Salem, honey, how long's it been since you've had a distemper shot? I think it might be time for a long, slow visit to the vet. Excuse me, dust ball. Excuse me. Attention back on the most important person in the room, please. As I was saying, the Witches' Council, of which I am the boss, has generously decided to grant you and your sister early release from those horrid teenage bodies. <gasps> huh? Oh. What was that? Just the cat. <laughs> See? Well, Enchantra, thank you so much for bringing us the good news. I know how busy your social calendar is. I'll be back in a few days to reverse the spell. And we'll all have a big celebration dinner. Oh, uh, P.S. I may be dropping in to check up on you, so... Be high. <laughs> Boy, that was close. We've got to get rid of the Elizabeth cake fast. I found a spell. Ah. Now it's time to say goodbye to present company. Say farewell to this fair day. Go back to what ye be. Huh? Huh? Nice work. We're doomed and it's your fault. Look, if you weren't so obsessed with having to outdo me all the time, I never would have conjured him up. You deserve it. You're the one who's always, I'm Zelda, blah, 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 blah. I'm mature and wiser because I'm older. I hate that. Like I always say, never send a witch to do a cat's job. You forgot to read the fine print. What fine print? The spell only works during a full moon. So what do we do with Romeo for the next three days? This'll never work. We've got to make him blend in. We'll be doing the puberty polka for the next 300 years if Enchantra finds out we've been abusing magic again. What do you mean, we? Don't be so literal. Okay, pop quiz. Who are you again? Monty Labinowitz, yon exchange student from Detroit. You could take the boy out of Verona. <laughs> Parting is such sweet sorrow. That new guy is more sensitive than Johnny Depp. <sighs> huh? Capulets, put up your swords! Hey! You know not what you do! I do but keep the peace. Oh, farewell, fair ball. Thou may have lost the battle, but thou hast won the game. What a dreamboat. Guess what? I may have a shot at playing Juliet after all. Romeo promised to be my partner at the callbacks tonight. What? No, no, no. Romeo said he was taking me to the dance tonight before the full moon comes out. Wait a minute. He said the same thing to me. That two time in low life. Three time in low life. Enchantra! Uh oh. Where's Romeo? Well, what do we have here? Such beauty I have never seen. The all-seeing sun never saw thine match since first the world begun. Oh, you devil, you. Behave. <gasps> Listen, girls, Monty and I are going to head out for a little romantic dinner. Be back late. Real late. Well, may as well zap us back before you head out. You know, get it out of the way so you can have some fun. Oh, I couldn't possibly even think about performing an elaborate incantation right now. The transformation spell can wait. 
But think of all the free time you'll have once that silly spell is done. I said no! Shall we, Puddin? Tra-la, darlings. All's well that ends well. Very funny, ladies. The uh, Casanova crab cakes, the Cleopatra paella, and for dessert, the Warren Beatty baklava. Uh, but of course, madame. Oh, Enchantra, you still love sweet bait from fearful hooks. <laughs> Boy, you sure talk the talk. show on the road. I'm gonna miss my callbacks. If Enchantra finds out her new Mac Daddy is a fictional character, we're all in deep witch water. We need to create a distraction. Leave it to me. Are you sure? We can't blow our cover. This needs to be a surgical strike. Quick, clean, and above all, subtle. I'm the queen of subtle. That was very subtle. Something fishy is definitely going on here. This ridiculous stunt has witch prints all over it. If hiding witches is the case, let me see them face to face. Oh, hi, Enchantra. Just thought we'd pop in and see if you needed anything. Melted butter? You've got two seconds to tell me what's going on here before I turn you into poached salmon. Oh, mischief! Thou art swift to enter into the thoughts of desperate men. Well, ladies? Well, in a nutshell, Monty is really a Montague, as in Romeo Montague from the Shakespeare play. <gasps> How dare you make a fool of me, letting me throw myself at a fictional character. If it makes you feel any better, we threw ourselves at him too. And we knew he wasn't real. <laughs> Just nominate us for the old wet tea bag award. It's been too long, but now's the time. Return to where they speak in rhyme. Bombs, take your last embrace. And now for your punishment. I sentence the two of you to spend another 500 years as teenagers. <gasps> May I say one thing? But of course, darling. I'm the one who's been abusing magic, not Hilda. Zelda, shh. Don't make it worse for yourself. I conjured up Romeo, and Hilda was just helping me cover up my crime. It's all my fault, and it's only fair that I should serve both our punishments. Let me get this straight. You're willing to sacrifice your well-being and endure hundreds of years of suffering all to spare your sister? Well, uh, yeah, I guess so. Self-sacrifice? What a touching novelty. Very well. Zelda, your attempt at nobility amuses me. I offer you this compromise. Three additional years probation for you both. And you both have to dress up like rock hopper penguins. Oh, oh thank goodness. goodness. That's great. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Mr. Sales. Good of you to join us, Miss Spellman. Now, the callback can begin. I'm going to do something a little radical tonight. Instead of lines, 
I want both potential Juliets to tell me what the play is really about, in your own words. Color me, Juliet, jester dude. Well, in my own words, with no help whatsoever from the Shakespearean scholars that my extremely wealthy father hired, <clears throat> The theme of love in this play means the desperate measures to which one soul will pursue such infinite depths of undying affection. Well plagiarized, uh, Miss Stone. Thank you, Mr. Sales. Love is, um, that is to say, Love is a willingness to sacrifice everything for another person, be it a boyfriend, a friend, or a sister. Love is caring about them more than yourself, even when it might hurt sometimes to do so. My Aunt Zelda taught me that. Then move not what prayers effect I take. Thus from my lips, by thine my sin is purged. <laughs> How's that getting there? Ba -na 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 -na. Dumpty dum dum dum. Good job on hanging the student self portraits, Pi. As soon as we finish putting up the welcome parents banner. I think we're done. We have to make this the most perfect open house ever. Know why? You've only told us about 300 times. Your dad's coming. Oh, I cannot wait for you to meet him, Harvey. He's so funny and smart, and he's really handsome. I'm sure your dad's a great guy, Sabrina. After all, he's like your dad. He's like the best. And I'm going to have him all to myself for three whole days. Sabrina! Whoa! Right now, I don't want to have this ladder all to myself, OK? Oops, sorry. Sabrina, I've been looking all over for you. Major news flash. Mrs. Bleachstain named you and Harvey as this year's host and hostess of Open House. Harvey, isn't this wild? <gasps> yeah, extremely. I'm the official hostess of the Open House, and my dad's gonna be here. Oh, this is too perfect. Your dad sounds so cool. I'm looking forward to you and me spending some time hanging out with him. Sorry, Chloe. I've got him booked. We're gonna spend every minute together, just the two of us. Yeah? Well, like, did you ever think that your dad might also enjoy doing stuff with other people while he's in town? No. Huh? <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have no interest in piloting the first manned space flight to Mars. It wouldn't be anywhere near as exciting as being with my darling daughter, Sabrina. <laughs> the president just called. He wants you to pose for the newest face on Mount Rushmore. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. We've just gotten word that Spielberg has asked you to star in every movie he makes from now on. No, 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 sorry. All I'm interested in is being with my darling daughter. Sabrina! Sabrina! Huh? I said I'll catch you later, okay? Oh, wow. We're at your house already? I've got to get home and get ready. My dad will be here any minute. Now that's you. You're right, Salem. I should keep everything just the same. Whenever Dad comes to visit, it's always just been him and me. And the me part of it hasn't ever worn a hat. Uh, Sabrina, nothing stays the same forever. What's up with this? It doesn't fit. And it's Dad's favorite. He gave it to me for my 10th birthday. My point exactly. <laughs> 
Hilda, as the elder sister, I should decide how we should decorate for Edward's visit. Oh, dear. I don't know about this. Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> oh, Zelda, that is so like last century. <gasps> and that is so I love Lucy. <laughs> <gasps> Thank you, Salem. I'll get it! <laughs> Sabrina! Dad! Oh, I have a surprise for you, honey. This is Futura Hidebound. Huh? She's my fiance. We're getting married, Sabrina! Isn't that great news? <laughs> Sabrina, honey, don't you want to congratulate us? No, not really. Hello, oh, nice, nice to see you. you. I don't want her here. She's going to ruin everything for me. Futura is a normal mortal. Go with something she might actually like, like nachos, maybe. Sabrina, we could use a little help with the snacks here. Why don't you take this to Futura? She said she'd like a diet soda. Do I look like a waitress? I am so not in the mood for this. Did you see the way Edward looks at Futura? He's definitely a warlock in love. Stop it! Just stop it! What's wrong, Sabrina? Futura, Futura, Futura! What about me? Ugh. What about the fact that she's horning in and ruining my time with Dad? I hate her! Sabrina, you don't even know her. Give her a chance. Once you get to know Futura, I'm sure you'll like her. After all, Edward loves her. Enough to marry her. And Edward has always had excellent taste. He used to. Futura and I met in her shop. She's in the antiques business. Ah, that explains what she saw in Edward. Here's your soda. Thank you, Sabrina. Sure. <gasps> this is where I always sit. Right here, right next to my dad. Are you okay? Oh, oh, are you okay? Oh, my goodness. Right. oh dear. Let me, Let me help. Good. Ooh, that sounded just a little witchy. That's exactly uh, how I feel right uh, now. Oof. Now she'll blow up and blame me, and Dad'll get rid of her that fast. <laughs> After that long flight, I had a little bit of jet lag, but I'm feeling more bubbly now. Right. Play it off like you're not totally furious. Trust me, dear. Green is not your best color. What made me fall in love with Edward? Well, Quigley, I suppose it was all the things we have in common. Yeah, like going to art museums and, and horseback riding. Horseback riding? Dad, that's something you and I do together. Well, honey, it's something Futura and I enjoy doing, too. Hey, I'm thinking it'd be fun for all three of us to do it together. I don't think so. Nothing can be better than this. Being here with the two girls that I love the best. Well, you're ahead of me, Dad. I still only have one guy that I love the best. Got a minute? I just wanted to tell you how much I love you. Dad, am I still your best girl? After all, you have Futura now, and that's making you all fabulously happy and everything. What's making me fabulously happy is being here with all the people I love. If you ask me, things feel a little crowded right now. How about a walk with Futura and me before dinner? You two can get to know each other. Gee, Dad, it sounds like fun, but I have to run an errand. And I'll be back soon, okay? See why 
why I need your advice on how to get rid of her, Harvey. Sabrina, I'm not exactly an expert on stepmothers. Besides, I can't talk now. I've got to finish doing these leaves before my dad gets home. Harvey? Telephone! Uh, coming, Mom! I'll be right back. Ah! You should have seen it. This incredible wind blew the leaves right into the bags. Wow. So what am I going to do about Futura? I can't stand her. She's total nothing. Bummer. Well, if you're going to be stuck with a stepmom, too bad you can't be stuck with one that's at least fun and cool. That's it. Harvey Kinkle, you're a genius. You just figured out how this whole Futura deal can work for me. <laughs> oh, get off me. Stop it. Oh, you big clod. Hilda. It's my bouillabaisse recipe. It's my bouillabaisse pot, and I say we need more crabs. Ah! <gasps> huh? What is going on? We're making bouillabaisse for Edward. It's an elegant seafood stew. Stop that lobster! Ah! I guess I'll just talk to Sam about the plan for making future of the stepmother of my dreams. So that's how I figure I can stop Futura from ruining everything for me. I can make her into somebody I'll like and enjoy hanging with. And? And all I need is one teensy weensy teeny itty bitty spell. Right. Uh huh. Well, I'll need to think about whether or not this is something I can help you with. I'll keep you in catnip, squeaky toys, and tuna dip for a week. A month. Done. Name your spell. Well, my first choice would be something that would send her on a permanent vacation to Alaska. But... What do I look like? Spells unlimited? Go with something from the standard inventory, okay? In that case, I want to make future somebody I would like. Somebody cool, fun. You know, like me. And this is going to be something your father is going to like, right? Salem, this is about making this whole Futura thing work for me, okay? Fine. In that case, I have the perfect spell. I invented it myself. It's a killer. And the best part is, I receive a nice fat royalty every time it's used. <laughs> Look in this mirror and your face you'll see. But a carefree 12-year-old is what you'll actually be. Just get Futura to take a good look at herself in this thing and bang! She'll be your soulmate. She'll want to do all the same things I do? Cool. I'll get my dad and a new cool friend. Sabrina, come in. I was so hoping we would have a chance to chat. Right. Great idea. I hope I wasn't too much of a surprise, but your father insisted. Hey, that's my middle name. Sabrina Surprise Me Spellman. You know, when I was just about your age, my father brought home a new stepmother, and I really hated the idea of having to share my dad with some strange woman. Oh, wow. Hey, cool mirror, huh? You know all about antiques, right? Take a look. See what you think. This is an exquisite piece. Quite old. French, I believe. Are you sure? Look some more. Get in there really close. So, Futura, who's your favorite band? The Boston Pops. Really? Your favorite actor? Cary Grant. He reminds me of your father. Sabrina, don't hurry off. Stay, let's talk. Sorry, I have an order of catnip I've got to cancel. Huh? <laughs> the mirror's a dud. That lame spell must be way past the expiration date. I'll have you know that spell made spell of the year eight years in a row. During the 60s. Thanks for nothing. There you are, Sabrina. Honey, I have a surprise for you. I don't think I can stand any more surprises today. You and I are going out to dinner tonight. Really? <clears throat> really. It was Futura's idea. When we were taking our walk earlier, she said she thought we could use some quality dad and daughter time. Dad, this is exactly what I wanted. So, uh, where do you want to go? I know the absolute best place. Really funky and... Yoo-hoo! Hey, you guys, wait up! Whee! <laughs> 
Futura! Futura? Why are you dressed like Sabrina? Go Salem. Oh, wow. I am, like, so hungry. And I totally know what I want to eat. Chili dogs? Oh, my gosh. You are, like, completely psychic. What should we do next? I know, bumper cars! Yes! But we've been on them three times already. I was hoping we could just go someplace for a quiet dinner and... Oh, Edward, don't be such a fuddy-duddy. Dibs on the green car! Futura, what's gotten into you? I feel like I'm out with a 12-year-old. And stop that jumping. You're acting like a lunatic. And you're acting like a total fossil. Hey, Sabrina! <gasps> Harvey, what are you doing here? Oh, Pi had a saltwater taffy emergency. Great! You can both meet my dad. Dad, I want you to meet... Oh, wow. Are you a <gasps> babe or what? Huh? Are you into bumper cars? I love bumper cars. Oh, we are so out of here. Dad, what's wrong? I don't understand what's happened. The woman I loved is, is gone, just like that. Oh, Sabrina, I feel like my heart's gonna break. Oh, Dad, I'm so sorry. No, honey, I'm sorry. I, I screwed up. I, I shouldn't have just sprung Futura on you like I did. I, I should have taken my time thought things out. I'm gonna take a little walk and clear my head. Oh, Dad, this is all my fault. Sitting on a bench talking to yourself has been determined to be a possible indicator of the onset of premature weirdness, me amigo. Pi, I have screwed up big time. Expand. All I wanted was to have my dad to myself. I wanted it to be just me and my dad. Or if I couldn't have that, I wanted a stepmother who was cool so that I could. I, myself, and I. So we're talking about what? Not taking other people's feelings into consideration, maybe? How do you do that? Being out of it and really smart all at the same time? Futura, over here! I need to speak to you. I finally realized what you're doing. Huh? This silly teenager act. It's to get Sabrina to like you. I love you for trying so hard. But all you have to do is be yourself, honey. Eddie, you're such a goof. I am being myself. Cotton candy, yes! Huh? I've ruined my dad's life. What am I going to do? Later, Dad. Night, Futura. Gotta ask Sam something before he goes to sleep. You better be packing catnip and squeaky toys. A deal's a deal. Forget the deal. I want you to reverse the spell this minute. Now. No can do, mon petite fleur. Ah! My dad is about to lose someone he loves very much because all I could think about was me and what I wanted. Well, now I'm thinking about my dad and what he wants. And you're going to help me make him happy. Pronto. Sorry, Blondie. You'll just have to wait until the spell wears off. And that will take two or three days.
Two or three days? They could be so apart in three days. Then you'll just have to find a way to keep them together, won't you? Omelet sausages, perfect. Hmm. Coffee, juice, muffins. Perfect, perfect, perfect. A romantic breakfast on the patio. That'll keep Dad and Futura together. Dad? What are you doing up so early? I wanted to surprise you and Futura. Oh, that's sweet, honey, but unfortunately, Futura's gone. Gone? Where? I found this note on her door. It says, gone boarding. Whatever that means. Uh, honey, I don't think Futura and I will be getting married after all. She's not the woman I fell in love with. She's changed. But, Dad, she'll change back. Two, three days max. I guarantee it. Oh? You haven't been up to any mischief, have you, my little half-witch of a daughter? Um, uh, Dad? Just don't give up on her, okay? Sabrina? Gotta go, Dad. Hey, everybody! Huh? Wow, they've got this awesome half pipe at the skateboard park. It is so fresh. <laughs> Later, gotta snag a shower. I'm waiting. Well, see, I was so busy thinking about what I wanted, which was to have you all to myself that when you showed up with Futura, all I could think about was how to make the whole deal work for me. So then, I kind of put a spell on her. Dad? What? Say something. <sighs> You've behaved like a spoiled brat, Sabrina. I know, and I'm so sorry. I love you, Dad. I just want you to be happy. I really, really love you. And I really, really love you. Now just tell me one more thing. What exactly did you do to Futura? Well, I used this to... No! Welcome to our open house. Really, Sabrina? It's kind of fun. Harvey, it's totally humiliating, okay? Sabrina, where's your dad? Everybody is talking about him. <laughs> Bumper cars later, honey? Absolutely, Dad. Three more days till the spell wears off? Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> da -da -da. Dum de dum dum dum. birthday. Boy, I hope he likes his present. It took me a million hours to mold this old wand into a frame. <laughs> what you doing? <gasps> What's with the cat on the hot tin bed routine? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Jacket for dust? Ah. You little sneak. You're trying to find your birthday present. That's right, baby. It's my birthday and I love it all. The party, the balloons, the cake, the fuss. And most of all, the presents. Cause it's all about the presents. Speaking of which, what you got there? Is, uh, <laughs> is that for moi? Yes, uh, uh, no, I mean, maybe? Please give me a hint. No way. Please, just a tiny little hinty winty. Whoa! No! No! You'll just have to wait until tonight. Oh, I have to wait until tonight. That's what you wait until tonight. That's the last straw, Ross. I'm leaving you. Getting ready for my birthday festivities, I see. 
<laughs> Here we go, like clockwork. Every year it's a countdown to the Salem birthday hour. All about Salem. Salem, 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 Salem. I resent that. Am I so wrong to expect those who care about me to also care about my birthday? We do. We will. Later. But right now, the Young and Relentless Marathon is on. 20 hours of non-stop heartbreak, amnesia, and mistaken identity. I see how I rate. Don't worry, we'll celebrate as soon as young Dr. Vanderscum makes chief of staff or little sissy is out of her coma, whichever comes first. Besides, we got you a really great present. Uh -huh. I just live for presents. Could my present be a pair of fuzzy dice? They go great with that fleet of Model Ts that my good pal Henry once gave me. Henry Ford, that is. Hey! Nice try, smart guy. A fleet of Model Ts? What do you think you're... What is the Stop idea? Stop that! Salem, how could you do that? We will resume our regular programming when I get my question answered. I want to know just how fabulous my present is. Did you arrange to have a city named after me? Oh, that's right. I already have one. <laughs> I'll have you know that I've always gotten terrific birthday presents from my celebrity friends. And I'm talking about people like Amelia, Earhart that is, George Washington, and the famous pirate Jean Le Foot. Keep that in mind. And whatever my present is, just make sure you didn't get it from Cousin Ambrose. What's the matter? You didn't like your hand-knitted pink imitation Angora sweater? It was too small and it had a hood. Oh! <laughs> Don't you just love cheesy do-it-yourself gifts? Oh, good old Cousin Ambrose. It was a sweet <gasps> thought, though. No, I guess. A crummy picture frame? What was I thinking? Salem wants something bigger, better, more expensive. Well, there's nothing in the Nifty Gifties or the LL Bean there done that catalog. Anyway, I don't understand why you can't just give him the picture frame. You work so hard on it. But Salem is used to getting big cost a lot of money presents. People say they like simple little gifts, but they don't. Hey, all I'm getting him is some fresh catnip and a squeezy toy. Cranky old warlock, he'll love that. <laughs> uh, I mean it, Chloe. I have to get him something out there. Exotic. Like what? You're just a kid. You can't afford an extravagant gift. Besides, you know what they say. It's the thought that counts. Grown-ups just say that so they don't have to up our allowances. Hey, guys. Are we getting together later to work on our book reports? Uh-huh. Cool. See ya. What are we doing, Arzon? Time Machine by H.G. Wells. Time Machine? That's it! I got it! That's how I can give Salem the perfect killer gift. What? me in here just a little, okay? Like, you're planning to find Salem's birthday present inside his kitty condo? Of course not. What we need from here is his address book. Then all we need is one teeny little thing from the attic. Huh? Come on, man. I gotta break even before the cat gets back. Excuse me? Do you guys know where Salem keeps his address book? <whistles> what are you doing in there anyway? Well... You know, when the cat's away. Okay, we've got the address book, which gives us the names of some of Salem's famous friends. Now all we need to do is find the right spell to get us where we need to go. Whose are these? Zelda's lost a little weight. We don't talk about it. Zelda's box of old spells has to be up here somewhere. Hmm, I've never seen this before. Woohoo! I've never seen you before either! Oh! Oh! Watch it! <laughs> ah! Yes! Hey, Chloe, I think I found the time travel kit! Oh my gosh! We found it! We found the spell to travel back in time! <laughs> huh? We're gonna travel back in time? What's that got to do with getting Salem a really fabulous present? We're gonna travel back in time, and with this video camera, we're gonna get some of Salem's famous friends to wish him a happy birthday. 
It'll be an amazing one-of-a-kind video birthday spectacular. Hmm, time travel, huh? Gee, I don't know. Sounds kind of, uh, dangerous. We are not liable in regards to lost luggage, library books, or limbs, yada, yada, yada. <gasps> or misplacement of travelers due to unexpected glitches in time. Yeah, you know, minor stuff like that. In addition, if the caster of the spell is to get home safely, she must have this compass in her possession at the time the spell expires. The length of the spell may vary. What do you say, Chloe? Will you come with me and help me? It's my chance to get Salem the biggest, bestest birthday present ever. I don't know. Come on, please. Think how disappointed he's going to be otherwise. It's this or a picture in a cheap recycled frame. Let's do it. Camera's rolling. Protection of Abeona, with this spell I cast, I ask you to take us to those of Salem's past. Hey, guys. Hilda and Zelda said you were up here. And then I should just... Ah! Ah! But wherever it is, we're here. The spell worked. <laughs> Uh-oh. Harvey? What? Sabrina? What happened? Why aren't we still in your attic? Um, well, you see, it's the funniest thing. Run! Run for your lives! <gasps> Look, fellows, fresh prey. Ah! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Sabrina, what's happening? I don't know about you, but that picture frame is starting to look like a terrific present right now. Come on, Chloe, we've got to go for it. I've got to get Salem a big showy present. Besides, look at the first name on the list. Amelia Earhart, the famous female pilot. You know who I am? Yeah, you're like the most famous woman who ever tried to fly around the world. Yeah, True, but the thing I'm probably most famous for by now is getting lost. So what are you kids doing here, anyway? Actually, we're here to ask you a favor, and... What kind of islanders are those, anyway? Martha's Vineyard. There's never a moment's peace. What's the favor you need? I don't mean to be rude, but they're gaining on us. Make it snappy, okay? I need you to wish an old friend a happy birthday. It's... <laughs> Okay, quiet. Okay, people, work with me here. I'm shooting a video. Let's have it quiet, okay? Uh, ah! oh, oh, I love this. Show business. Oh, she's quite soft. Hollywood. Earhart, what I'd like to have you do is say something nice in celebration of a very near and dear old friend's birthday. Go ahead and send a big happy birthday wish to Salem! Salem? Is there a problem? I mean, wasn't Salem like a really good friend of yours? Salem is the reason I got lost and ended up stuck on this stupid island. He told me he had a map that would take me around the world and make me a star. <gasps> but it was a map to the star's homes. Salem, I never want to hear that name again. Really? So I'm guessing that means you're not going to want to send birthday greetings to old Salem? I said I never wanted to hear that name again! <laughs> Whoa, whoa. So much for that dear friend of Salem's. Who's next? 
Somebody really special. There are two stars by his name in the address book. It's some guy named George. Huh? Warning. Spell transporting time travelers now. Time what? <laughs> Salem! I hate Salem! <laughs> Hostile tennis playing islanders. Now I'm getting seasick. This is the worst dream I've ever had. George Washington? Wow. Salem is some every hitter. Good morning, Mr. President. What in the world? Who are you? We're here because we're making this really amazingly fabulous present for your old friend Salem. Salem? He's a friend of yours, right? I mean, you do remember him. <laughs> My dear, I think of him every time I chew, and every time I end up with a tongue full of splitters! Um, I thought I read somewhere that that thing about you having wooden teeth wasn't really true. Well, don't believe everything you read, young lady. Do you know why my teeth are wooden? I was out by my father's cherry tree. I was sharpening my axe. Salem was practicing the tango with untied shoelaces. He tripped, he slammed into me, my axe slammed into the tree, and it fell on me! You distracted me with all that talk of Salem! Now we're under attack! The British are coming! Oh, please, let it be time to go! Come on, come on, do something! Uh, I think I'm gonna be sick. All right, all right, warning. Spell transporting time travelers now. I hate Salem! Now. Great! This guy has three stars by his name. I'm guessing this must be the ship of one of Salem's best friends. The famous Parut, Jean Lefoot. This boat's not rocking. Cool! I hope this works. The spell could wear off any minute now. This could be my last chance to get Salem a really monster gift. Ahoy there, children! I have no idea who you are or why you're dressed in those ridiculous clothes, but welcome to my humble pirate ship, Jean Lafoot at your service. Frothing root beers all around for my new friends. They are obviously magicians of some sort. Huh? Whoa! Whoa, this dream is getting good. I really need to ask you for a favor. Yes, of course, anything. Whatever you do, don't mention. Whoa, pirates! Would you send a birthday greeting to your old pal Salem? Salem, that's what I was gonna say not to mention. Salem? Why do I keep dreaming about Sabrina's cat? Salem? Because of Salem, my sword privileges were taken from me, and I am reduced to using this. I cannot go into the details. They are too sordid. But all oh, the humiliation! Forced to wear a long flamingo in place of a sword. And it's plastic, no less. Because of Salem, my sword was taken. In its place, I take this. You can't. I just did. <laughs> now we'll never get home, and it's all my fault. 
I just wanted to get Salem a killer present instead of the cheap lame thing I was gonna give him. A present? All this for a present? Silly girl, <laughs> don't you know that with presents, it's the thought <laughs> that counts. I said that. Who cares who said it? All I know is that I want my compass back. Well, I want my sword privileges back. Take these two to the brig. This one is coming with me. If you don't cooperate, I will feed your little playmates to the sharks! <laughs> Okay, I'm ready to wake up now. And when I do, I want to be in my own house, in my own bed, in my Captain Guano jammies! If you ever want to see those jammies again, Harv, you better save Sabrina and get that compass back. How am I going to do that? Hmm. Ah. With a little help from our friends. Warning, five minutes and counting until the spell wears off. It's a race, and you're losing! But I told you, I can't get your sword privileges back. My magic doesn't work like that. What do you want from me? Got it! You want the compass? You have to duel for it! On guard! Awake, right? Uh, 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 right. But I was asleep, right? Right. Um, you checked out right after you got here. In fact, you still look a little groggy. What do you say I walk you home? <sighs> Guess it's time for Salem celebration. Where is the little princess? I'm right here. Thank you for my present. I love it. I found where you hid it in the trash. Pretty clever. Actually, I threw it out. I figured there was no way a dinky present that didn't cost a lot of money could ever compete with the amazing stuff you're used to getting. What are you talking about? Presents aren't about the money. This is the best gift anyone has ever given me. Tune in for next month's marathon when we find out what Biff chooses. Will it be that very special surgery he's been wanting? Or will it be a sham marriage to the cold but filthy rich Fifi? Next month! Wow. I've never had a framed photograph with me and someone else. What? Every photo I have is, of, well, just me. How come? Because, darling, it's my world, and you people just live in it. Yeah, baby! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 